Hello friends, uh, welcome again and this is my new project student management system and I have developed this project in Python, Django and MySQL. The Python version I'm using is the Python version 3.7 and MySQL version is 5.6, Django version is 2. For connecting Python and Django with MySQL, I am using the PyMySQL. If you have, if you have MySQL Django connector, then you can install it and you can connect uh, through uh, MySQL Django connector also right so for front-end this is a web-based application so for front-end development i have used html css and javascript some of the jquery library also i have used like for form validation validations integration of the date calendars and many more things i have used the jquery plugins inside this project for giving some good effects and uh interact uh, attractive things on the front-end side right so i have used the jquery panel right jquery libraries so these all uh, technology stacks i have used for developing this project so let's start with the functionality go through so, so the project title is student financial system and this is a major python django and mysql project right it's a web-based application because we had all of this application in the django so this is the home page of the project you can see this is a simple home page and there is nothing dynamic on it it's a totally static page this is about project is also a static page if you want to change the content then you can open the template slash about.html and you can change the content there this is a result from where here you will be able to search the result of the students if for that you need to enter the roll number and after that you will be able to get the result of the students this is a contact this is a static contact us page i am not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere into the database when i am not sending any type of email and sms from this page this is a login from here you can log in so there are two types of login available here one is the admin second one is a student if you click on the admin login then you need to enter the admin credential so the user id of admin is admin and the password is test once you log in inside the system you will get this dashboard you can perform these operations right on the admin side on right so you can add the student from here you will be able to add the student right all of the information you need to enter and you can add it again this is the add subject from here you will be able to add the subject right this is the add result from here you will be able to add the result this drop down contains all of the students which you have added earlier this subject contains all of the uh, subjects you have added earlier and these both drop downs are dynamic and the value of these drop downs are coming from the database here you need to enter the obtain marks and the full marks right so this is the add result page this is a subject record all of the subject subject which you have added will be displayed here if you want to edit anything just click on the edit and submit it that will be updated if you want to delete anything just click on the delete that item will be deleted permanently from the database this is the result records all of the results which you have added will be displayed here right so you can see this is a result right you can print it also so this is the add result this is a strand details all of the strands which you have added will be displayed here you can search the strand on the real time from here you can see this is the search and you can sort the record also so you can see this is sorting right you can set the pagination currently there are three records then this pagination will not work but if it's more than 10 records then it will work and this pagination link will be appear right so this is the student details this is a change password from where admin will be able to update his account password and after updating his account password his old password will not work and the last thing is the logout once you click on the logout then all of the session will be destroyed and the above administration menu will not be displayed so let me click on the logout so you can see there is a login again there is no logout right there is no addition there is no issue because this is a session driven menu it renders according to the session okay now i am going to log in as a student so the user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test here the student can see the dashboard so you can see there is three menu option is available here because it's rendering according to the session the student has a restricted access that's why it's three menus is coming admin has full access then all menu options are available right once you student click on the my result he will be able to see all of the results even he can print it so a student can see only his results right so this is the my result once you click on the logout then above my result will not be appear you can see my result is not appear because it's a session driven menu and the menu options are getting rendered according to the session so this all functionalities i have developed inside this student management system and as i told you earlier this is a major 
DBMS web based Python Django and MySQL project. If you need more functionality in this project, just put it into the comment. I will incorporate those changes. I will make this project more better, better according to your requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects, videos of the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.